Feeling something unusual in your eye is rarely cause for alarm, but what if that something is moving? For Oregon native Abby Beckley, what began as a minor irritation turned into a shocking discovery. The culprit wasn't a stray eyelash, but a parasitic worm. What followed left doctors both baffled and intrigued. Abby Beckley, 26, had always been an outdoors enthusiast. Her passion for horseback riding and fishing complemented her adventurous spirit and can-do attitude. Having lived on a cattle ranch in Southern Oregon, she also dreamed of working abroad and embracing new challenges. So when the opportunity arose to work as a deckhand on a fishing boat in Southeast Alaska during the summer of 2016, Beckley jumped at the chance. However, her adventure took an unexpected turn during her second week at sea. Beckley began experiencing discomfort in her left eye. Initially, she thought it was a minor issue, possibly a loose eyelash lodged beneath her eyelid. But the irritation worsened, causing her eyelid to droop and her eye to become red and tingly. As the days went on, the symptoms escalated, and she began suffering from migraines. In an interview with National Geographic in February 2018, Beckley described the sensation. It felt like when an eyelash is poking you. Despite the discomfort, she tried to push through her work, assuming it was nothing serious. Yet, as the irritation persisted for five days, Beckley grew increasingly alarmed. Finally, she decided to take matters into her own hands. Convinced something foreign was stuck in her eye, Beckley resolved to remove the source of her distress. She stood in front of a mirror, carefully examining her inflamed eye, and gently pulled at the area where she felt the most irritation. What she discovered was both shocking and horrifying. Instead of finding a hair or particle, Beckley pulled out a thin, translucent worm. I looked at it, and it was moving, she recounted. The realization that a live parasite had been causing her discomfort left her stunned and deeply unsettled. But her ordeal didn't end there. Beckley sought medical attention, but what she had uncovered puzzled doctors. They had never seen anything like it and struggled to determine what kind of parasite had invaded her eye. The discovery marked the beginning of an unusual and unsettling medical journey for Beckley, one that highlighted the risks of living and working in remote, outdoor environments. Despite the shocking nature of her experience, Beckley's adventurous spirit remained intact. Her ability to take decisive action, even in a moment of fear and discomfort, ultimately led to the identification of a rare condition that fascinated medical professionals. For Beckley, her ordeal was a reminder of the unpredictable dangers that can come with embracing an adventurous lifestyle and the importance of trusting your instincts when something feels wrong. One morning, I woke up and decided, if it's the last thing I do, I'm going to get whatever the heck is in my eye out of there," Abby Beckley recalled. Determined to end her discomfort, she stood in front of a mirror and began tugging at the skin below her irritated eye. What she found was beyond anything she could have imagined. I pulled down the bottom of my eye and noticed that my skin looked weird there she explained to CNN. Pinching the inflamed area under her eyeball, Beckley carefully used her fingers to dislodge what was causing her so much pain. To her horror, she extracted a clear white worm about half an inch long and as thin as a strand of hair. The parasite wriggled briefly before dying on her finger. I was honestly in shock, in actual disbelief, she later told People magazine in February 2018. I couldn't believe what I had just seen. Shaken but trying to make sense of her stomach-churning discovery, Beckley turned to a co-worker for help. Together, they speculated that the creature might be a salmon worm, a parasite sometimes associated with the fishing industry. However, after removing three more worms from her eye and consulting a doctor in Craig, Alaska, who reacted with visible shock, Beckley realized the situation might be more complicated than she'd initially thought. When she returned home to Oregon, Beckley sought further medical advice. At first, some of the doctors she consulted were skeptical, doting her account. But that skepticism evaporated when they saw a worm crawling across Beckley's eyeball. I could feel them at that point, she said. I felt one come to the surface of my eye, 
and I was like, oh my god. You need to look. The doctors, stunned by what they witnessed, had no choice but to believe her. Over the next three weeks, a total of 14 worms were removed from Beckley's left eye. The experience was grueling, both physically and emotionally. Normally an active and adventurous person, Beckley found herself feeling isolated and overwhelmed. She spent much of her time at home, consumed by the unsettling reality of her situation. I kept wondering if the worms would move to my brain or cause blindness or paralysis in my face. Beckley admitted, none of the doctors she consulted could provide definitive answers or reassurances. The uncertainty weighed heavily on her, making the ordeal all the more distressing. It was really hard for me to do anything because I was distracted by the worms, she shared. It was like living in a nightmare. I kept asking myself, when is this ever going to end? Throughout this time, Beckley's emotional state fluctuated between shock, fear, and frustration. The feeling of being trapped in her own body, with no clear solution or timeline for recovery, was deeply unsettling. Her adventurous spirit and zest for life were temporarily overshadowed by the fear of what might happen next. Despite the distressing nature of her experience, Beckley persevered. She remained vigilant about her symptoms and worked closely with medical professionals to address the issue. Eventually, the worms were identified as a rare species of eye parasite, typically found in cattle, making Beckley's case the first documented instance in a human in the United States. Reflecting on her ordeal, Beckley described it as surreal and nightmarish, but her resilience and determination allowed her to endure it. I never imagined something like this could happen to me, she said, but I'm grateful to be on the other side of it now. Her story serves as a reminder of the importance of trusting your instincts and seeking help when something feels wrong, no matter how unusual it may seem. Abby Beckley was eventually diagnosed with Thelazide glossa, a species of eyeworm that primarily infects cattle in the northern United States. Scientists at the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention CDC, confirmed her case as the first known instance of a human being infected by this rare parasite. The discovery left both Beckley and medical experts stunned. Thelazide glossa is typically transmitted by flies that feed on the tears of animals such as cows, horses, and dogs. These flies carry the worm larvae from host to host. In Beckley's case, doctors explained that her eye likely became infected after a fly landed near her eye and vomited into it, introducing the larvae. This uncommon mode of transmission highlighted how unusual her case truly was. Dr. Aaron Bonura, assistant professor of infectious diseases at Oregon Health and Science University and part of the team treating Beckley, expressed her amazement to KOIN6. We can get parasitic infections in the eye, but typically, it's extremely rare, she said. Beckley's case marked the first time Thelazide glossa had ever been documented in a human eye, making it a groundbreaking discovery for the medical community. Fortunately, once the last worm was removed from Beckley's eye, her symptoms disappeared, and she began to feel much better. She made a quick recovery and apart from developing a strong aversion to flies, Beckley experienced no lasting physical effects. The ordeal, however, left her with a unique perspective and a desire to raise awareness about her experience. One of Beckley's motivations for sharing her story was to help others who might face a similar ordeal in the future. Reflecting on the uncertainty and fear she had endured, she hoped her transparency would provide reassurance to anyone going through something similar. Part of the reason I'm speaking out is that I had wished I could find one article or source that would reassure me this happened to someone else, and they are fine," she told CNN. Throughout her journey, Beckley faced many unknowns, from the cause of her symptoms to the rare diagnosis that followed. The lack of readily available information about her condition made the experience all the more distressing. By publicly sharing her story she aimed to close that gap and ensure that anyone else encountering Thelazide glossa or a similar parasitic infection would have access to the knowledge and support she had longed for during her ordeal. Beckley's case also served as a wake-up call for the medical community, 
highlighting the importance of vigilance and adaptability in diagnosing rare conditions. Her perseverance and willingness to seek answers ultimately led to a groundbreaking discovery, contributing valuable insights to the study of parasitic infections in humans. Now fully recovered, Beckley's story stands as a testament to her resilience and determination. What began as a bizarre and unsettling experience became an opportunity to educate and raise awareness about a rare medical condition. Her ordeal, though harrowing, had a positive outcome, both for her and for future patients who might face the same rare affliction. Abby Beckley hopes her story will serve as a lifeline for anyone who might face a similar ordeal. If this does happen again, I'm hoping my story will be out there for the next person to find," she said, reflecting on her experience. Her resilience and willingness to share her journey have earned admiration, including from her doctor, Dr. Aaron Bonura, an infectious disease specialist who treated Beckley, praised her patient's composure. She handled it all with remarkable grace and stride, and is incredibly strong. Bonura told National Geographic, Beckley's case was so unusual that it drew significant attention from medical researchers. Richard Bradbury of the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention CDC, led an investigation into her condition, culminating in a published study in the American Journal of Tropical Medicine and Hygiene. Beckley's infection was eventually identified as being caused by Thelazeb glossa, a rare species of eyeworm typically found in cattle. To pinpoint the exact parasite, Bradbury and his team had to dig deep into historical research. Remarkably, they referred to a 1928 German study to confirm the worm's identity. With Beckley's case, Thelazeb glossa was officially documented as the third type of Thelazeb worm known to infect humans. The discovery was groundbreaking for the medical community, not only because of the rarity of the parasite, but also because of how it highlighted the potential risks of zoonotic diseases, illnesses transmitted from animals to humans. Eye worms like Thelazeb glossa are spread by flies that feed on the tears of livestock, such as cows, horses, and dogs. In Beckley's case, a fly carrying the worm's larvae likely landed near her eye and introduced the parasite leading to her infection. Abby Beckley's ordeal highlights the critical importance of awareness and early detection in managing unusual medical conditions. Her symptoms, eye irritation, redness, and the disturbing sensation of movement were alarming yet could have been easily dismissed or misdiagnosed. However, her persistence in seeking answers not only led to her recovery but also advanced understanding of rare parasitic infections in humans. Throughout her journey, Beckley remained determined to find the cause of her symptoms, even when answers seemed elusive. Her case eventually drew the attention of medical professionals and researchers, who worked together to identify the rare parasite, Thelazeb glossa. Reflecting on the experience, Beckley expressed gratitude for the doctors and scientists who helped her through the challenging ordeal. Her willingness to share her story has shed light on a little-known condition offering hope and guidance to anyone who might face something similar. Beckley's motivation to speak out stems from her desire to provide reassurance to others. She hopes that her story will help those dealing with rare or unexplained medical issues feel less alone. Her journey serves as a powerful reminder that persistence and advocacy for one's health can make all the difference. Dr. Aaron Bonura, who treated Abby Beckley, and the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention CDC, emphasized the groundbreaking significance of her case. Beckley's infection, caused by Thelazeb glossa, a parasitic worm typically found in cattle, marked the first documented instance of this condition in a human. Her experience highlighted the unpredictable nature of zoonotic infections, diseases transmitted from animals to humans, and the critical importance of early detection and intervention. Beckley's determination and resilience transformed what could have been a harrowing ordeal into an opportunity for education and empowerment. Despite the fear and uncertainty surrounding her symptoms, she persisted in seeking answers. Her efforts not only led to her recovery, but also contributed valuable knowledge to the medical community, expanding understanding of rare parasitic infections.
By courageously sharing her story, Beckley has inspired others to take charge of their health and seek timely care for unexplained symptoms. Her transparency has raised awareness about the potential risks of zoonotic diseases and the importance of staying vigilant even when symptoms seem uncommon or unclear. Her journey stands as a testament to the power of persistence and advocacy. Beckley's experience has not only advanced medical knowledge, but also provided reassurance and guidance to those who might face similar challenges in the future. Her story serves as a reminder of the strength of the human spirit and the profound impact one person can have in improving outcomes for patients and medical professionals alike.